Let's look at a study ERDES did comparing exchanges in monopolistic and competitive markets. In this study, we find that monopolistic exchanges fetch a PE almost twice that of competitive markets. We also see that monopolistic exchanges trade at a significant premium to the domestic index PEs, while exchanges in competitive markets trade in line with their domestic index PE. In our study, we found that the incumbent exchanges which ignored the threat of competition effectively lost more than 35% of market share in 30 months. Some of the exchanges which we looked at include TMX, Deutsche Borsa, Euronex, LSE and NYSE. This resulted in a complete erosion of pricing. In this slide, we see that NYSE was forced to reduce its fees to a third after competition was introduced. On the other hand, the Australian exchange or ASX prepared itself for the four years before competition was introduced. This four years of preparation time has allowed ASX to maintain more than 96% of its market share, almost a year after SkyX Australia was launched. Now, the most effective thing that ASX did was to convince Australian regulators that payment for order flow or rebates have very perverse effects. This has helped Australia to neutralize competition. ASX CEO himself said that the maker-taker pricing is inherently dangerous. We at ERDES believe that it is dangerous because it incentivizes people to trade just to collect rebates. Other market participants such as Knight CEO Tom Joyce testified the same view in Congress. ICI Invesco Global Head Trader Cronin also testified in Congress saying that rebates should be prohibited.